Hi, welcome to Out of a Pair. Today we're going to go through error codes and self-diagnostic mode on the Candy uh, Grand Ovita Smart Touch and also the Hoover One Touch. These machines were produced from 2017 onwards. Now, as we go through the video, each individual error code, I will put the relevant part which I suspect might be at fault and also a video on how to assist you repairing the appliance. Remember, when needing parts for a washing machine, you will need your full model number off the identification plate inside the door. This normally means that you have a problem with either the control card behind the facial panel or the main circuit board. You need to check the wiring or you may have to replace one of the boards or have it reprogrammed. E01 and E07 are normally the same type of problem. This is normally to do with the door interlock, the wiring, or possibly on some occasions, it may be a problem with the circuit board. Please see our other video on how to replace door interlocks. E02 can be a problem with the fill system. Check your pipe coming to the back of the machine that is no kinks. Next, check your water valve. You can see videos on this at the website. The third is you need to check the pressure switch and also the pipe that's going to the bottom at the sump. All these need to be checked, but this normally is a fill problem. EO3 is a drain problem. First thing you need to check is your filter at the front of the pump. Make sure there's nothing in there. Secondly, you need to make sure that the sump hose that comes from the bottom of the drum and goes to the pump is clear. Make sure there's no debris in there. Third, check the waste pipe going to the stanchion pipe on the wall. If it is fitted in the kitchen and is going to the bottom of the sink unit, make sure that you check there's no blockage in that fitting. EO4 is normally an anti-flood device. This could also be a problem with the pump. So have a look at Evercode 3 as well. EO5 is an NTC sensor. This is normally fitted next to the heating element. You need to watch our other videos on how to test NTC sensors. You will need to work out what the ohms reading should be at an accurate temperature. EO6 is normally a problem with either the circuit board or the wiring going to the circuit board from the control panel board. You may need to replace the board or you may need an engineer to do this job for you. EO7 error code is normally to do with the door interlock. You will need to see our other videos on how to replace door interlocks. It is also possible that it may be a wiring fault. There were three motors fitted to these Hoover Candy made machines. You had CSET motors, you had Selena motors, and you also had Sol motors. You want to make sure that the TACO is reading correctly, and I've put the ohms reading on the screen for you. Also, while you're doing this, make sure you inspect the carbon brushes. I have a video on how to replace carbon brushes at the website. E09 or E09 is normally a triac failure on the circuit board, but it's well worth inspecting the motor and the wiring going from the circuit board to the motor. E11 is normally a problem with a washer dryer heating NTC sensor. This is usually at the top of the machine, and sometimes you can have an open circuit on the NTC sensor, or you may have a problem with the wiring going to the NTC sensor. You can see our other video on this. E12 is an error with the heating system normally or the NTC sensor. You want to inspect both of these. Also check the wiring going to them. Uh, sometimes the NTC sensor wiring can break. And also check that the airflow going through the drying heating circuit, there are no blockages. Sometimes at the back of the machine, you can get a blockage. E14 error code is either a defective heater, possibly NTC sensor, or you may have broken wiring going to one of these components. It is possible that you may have a circuit board fault, but on rare occasions. 
E15 error code normally indicates that you've got a problem with the circuit board. There is a memory chip that holds the programming for the washing machine, uh, all the cycles and everything else. This may be corrupt, the chip itself. Uh, it's possible to get it reprogrammed, or you may have to replace the board. It's also worth inspecting the connections for the wiring as well, just in case you have a loose terminal. E16 error code is normally a simple one. It's to do with the heating system. Uh, you've either got an element which is an open circuit or it may be tracking to earth. You would normally have had the RCD in the house tripping uh, and this error then comes up after you've reset the machine. But this is normally to do with the heating element and I've done some videos on these which you can see in the description. E17 according to the manufacturer is a tachometer fault on the motor but I would also check the uh, carbon brushes in the motor as well and make sure that the communication cables going from the circuit board to the motor are all in good condition. E18, according to the manufacturer, is either control board uh, fault or possibly a bad connection on the wiring or possibly a broken wire on the wiring. I've actually never come across this fault before. E19, again, is a communications problem or a defective uh, main board. Uh, I've, again, had no experience with this ever coming up on the machine, so it's not that common. E20 is quite a simple one, water level indication problem at a certain point in the program. This might mean that the machine has not emptied in the allocated period of time. Inspect the filter at the front of the pump. Make sure the impeller blade is turning freely. You can find videos below on how to do this. And also I've included a video below on how to inspect the sump hose. This is the hose that runs from the bottom of the drum to the pump. Sometimes you can have an item obstructing this and causing a blockage in the machine. E22 is normally a heating element fault. You want to do a test on the element. Make sure you've got somewhere in the region of about 32 ohms reading. Uh, that would mean it was a good element. If you've got open circuit, then your element is faulty and will need replacing. Here is how to go into self-diagnostic mode, written by the manufacturer, not myself. So the English is not always 100% as it's an Italian company. Whenever using self-diagnostic mode, make sure there are no clothes in the drum as this is a test sequence. Thanks very much for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful and informative. If you do need any further assistance, please use the contact us page on the website and I'll be happy to assist. And if you need any parts, remember to come to the website and use your full model number off the identification plate. Thanks very much indeed for watching.